longer than just four years. President Biden today leading an urgent push on COVID relief, meeting with Senate Democrats in the Oval Office two days after hosting Republicans here. Democrats vowing to go big and move fast. They're planning to stick with $1,400 stimulus checks, but signaling a willingness to target the money more narrowly to lower and middle income Americans. We want to do it bipartisan, but we must be strong. We cannot dawdle, we cannot delay, we cannot dilute. Democrats who've now officially taken the reins of both the House and Senate, laying the groundwork to go it alone, rather than dramatically scaling down to something Republicans would support. The rushed budget process that will play out this week is exactly, exactly the wrong path toward making law. All Senate Democrats would have to vote together to pass the bill without Republicans, and West Virginia moderate Joe Manchin is insisting on a bipartisan process. If they think that they're going to basically, we're going to throw all caution to the wind and, and just shove it down people's throat, that's not going to happen. The partisan rancor pausing today for a final farewell to Officer Brian Sicknick, the Capitol police officer who lost his life defending that building from a violent mob bent on derailing democracy. Lawmakers honoring his legacy as law enforcement continues the search to bring those responsible to justice. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News. That attack on the Capitol and the motivations behind it will be the central question next week as former President Trump faces his second impeachment trial. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News.